Sri Swami Yogaswarupananda ji was born in Chennai and was known as Krishna Murthy in his pre-monastic life. After reading an abridged version of the Mahabharata, a desire to lead a spiritual life in the Himalayan regions arose in his heart. He left hearth and home in 1964 at the age of 25. The grace of God brought him to the sacred abode of Sri Gurudev in Rishikesh. During those days, he assisted Sri Swami Krishnananda Ji Maharaj with correspondence in the mornings and helped Sri Swami Sharadananda Ji Maharaj in the afternoons at the Shivananda Publication League. Sri Swami Sharadananda Ji Maharaj taught him yoga asanas and pranayamas in a systematic way. In the evenings, he attended Bhagavad Gita classes conducted by Sri Swami Hridayananda Mataji. He became an adept in the subjects of yoga and Srimad Bhagavad Gita and was initiated into the holy order of sannyasa by worshipful Sri Swami Chidananda Ji Maharaj on the Shivaratri day of 1979 and was given the monastic name Sri Swami Yoga Swarupananda Saraswati. In 1973, worshipful Sri Swami Chidananda Ji Maharaj deputed Swamiji to conduct yoga classes for the IAS trainees at the prestigious Lal Bahadur Shastri National Academy of Administration in Masuri. Swamiji used to conduct nine courses in a year, each course lasting for three weeks. This honorary seva, done in the name of Sri Gurudev, continued for 30 years. Swamiji has been travelling regularly to many countries around the world over the years to conduct yoga classes, spiritual seminars and to give personal guidance to devotees. In 2002, Sri Swami Chidananda Ji Maharaj nominated him as a trustee of the Divine Life Trust Society. In the following year, Swamiji was formally elected as the Vice President of the Society. On the 7th of July, 2019, Swamiji Maharaj was elected as the President of the Divine Life Society. It is in this capacity that Swamiji is presently serving Sri Gurudev's holy mission. Swamiji will now give a short message on the life and teachings of Gurudev Swami Shivananda Ji Maharaj. Om 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 Sadguru Bhagavan Ki जय ओम गंगा मैया की जय सहना सहनौ भुनक्त सह वीर करवाहे तेजस्वीनाधीतमस्तमा विद्विषा वहे ओं शाति 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 Dr. Kupuswami took birth in South India at Pattamadai near the river Tamraparni and went to Malaya working in the rubber plantations. Being a doctor, he realized there is a God element in the human body. As a well-known proverb, doctor gives medicine It is God who cures the disease. He came from Malaya to Himalaya and took sannyas in 1924 and became known to the world as Swami Sivananda Saraswati. Thereafter, he travelled all over India, came to Rishikesh and stayed in Swargasram. He began to write all his thoughts. and began to publish in different journals. He wanted to remove wrong notions about the ancient culture of Bharata Varsha. He wrote many books with his own personal experience. Some years ago, we started to preserve all his writings under the Sivananda Archives project. We discovered there are more than 500 books in which we discovered 3,500 poems on many subjects. 
1,500 aphorisms, 3,000 letters in his own hand, 372 stories depicting many aspects of religion and spiritual life, 115 parables to create interest in human mind, 32 dramas and 12 dialogues so that one can feel, entertain, simultaneously propagate the ancient culture. There are 285 biographies and three autobiographies, six commentaries on ancient texts, Gita, Upanishad and Brahma Sutras. There are 120 songs. He has given 32,000 sayings and 35 lessons on different aspects of yogas. And also there is one dictionary to clear many doubts. 352 of his messages sent to the various individuals and organizations have been published. And a large number of publications still to be awaited, to be released. He brought the essence of all religions, teachings of all sages of East and West in two phrases, be good and do good. He propagated ancient culture of yoga and Vedanta and called it yoga of synthesis or integral yoga with simple words, sarv, love, meditate, realize, combining all yogas, namely Hatha Yoga, Karma Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Raj Yoga and Jnana Yoga. He emphasized start the day with God, spend the day with God and end the day with God. This is the way to God. Before commencing any work, Swamiji Maharaj advised all to repeat God's name. Swamiji emphasized the importance of repeating Mahamrutunjaya Mantra. And he gave a beautiful universal prayer depicting the Upanishadic declaration, Tat Tvam Asi. I repeat that universal prayer, which we do daily during our satsang doing a concluding prayer. O adorable Lord of mercy and love, salutations and prostrations unto thee, thou art omnipresent, omnipotent and omniscient. Thou art Satchitananda, existence, consciousness, bliss, absolute. Thou art the indweller of all beings. Grant us an understanding heart, equal vision, balanced mind, faith, devotion and wisdom. Grant us in, inner spiritual strength to resist temptations and to control the mind. Free us from egoism, lust, greed, hatred, anger and jealousy. Fill our hearts with divine virtues. Let us behold Thee in all these names and forms. Let us serve Thee in all these names and forms. Let us ever remember Thee. Let us ever sing Thy glories. Let Thy name be ever on our lips. Let us abide in thee forever and ever. Now I repeat Mahamurti Jaya Mantra also. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivadhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanan Mrityur Mutshiyam Amritat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivadhanam Urvar kami vabandhanan mrityor mutshiyam amritat. Om thayambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushti vardhanam. Urvar kami vabandhanan mrityor mutshiyam amritat. Om thayambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushti vardhanam. Urvar kami vabandhanan mrityor mutshiyam amritat. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Babandhanam Mrityur Mutshiyam Amritat.
हरि ओ सर्वे स्वस्थे भवतु सर्वे शांति भवतु सर्वे पूर्ण भवतु सर्वे मंगल भवतु सर्वे सुखिन सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंत मा कचिदुखभागे असतो मा सद्गमय तमसो मा ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा अमृतंगमय ओ पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य शांति 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 सद्गुरु भगवान की जय हरि हरिओ I shall talk to you today briefly on divine life. Divine life is life in God or the immortal soul. He who lives the divine life is free from care, worry, anxiety, misery, suffering, and tribulation. He attains immortality, perfection, freedom, independence, eternal peace, supreme bliss, and perennial joy. He radiates joy and peace and light everywhere. No, to lead the divine life, we need not retire in the forest. We can lead the divine life while remaining in the world. What is wanted is renunciation of egoism, mindless attachment, vasanas and krishnas. Be the world mind to God and the hands to the service of humanity. Serve humanity with atma bhav. Serve the poor. Serve the sick with the rarayana bhav. Serve the society. Serve the country. Selfless service is the highest yoga. Samadhi will come by itself without any effort for one who is solely absorbed in service and his heart is purified. Service is worship of the Lord. Never forget this. He who sees Brahman or the immortal soul in the school, Brahman in medicine, Brahman in the patient, Brahman in the doctor, Brahman in service, He who thinks or meditates thus when doing service verily reaches Brahman or the eternal. The practice of Brahmacharya is very important for spiritual progress. Brahmacharya is the basis for acquiring immortality. It is itself divine life. Brahmacharya brings material progress and psychic advancement. It is a substratum for a life of peace in Atma. It is a potent weapon for controlling the internal rajasic forces, namely Kama, Kro, the Lobe, etc. It gives tremendous energy and gigantic will power and good vichara shakti. Japa is an important anger of yoga or divine life. The mantra is divinity. Japa is a repetition of the mantra or the names of the Lord. In Kali Yuga, practice of Japa alone can give eternal peace, bliss and immortality. Japa ultimately resolves its body or communion with the Lord. Sankirtan is the singing of the Lord's name with faith and devotion. When he sings his names, feel that Lord Hari or Ishta Devata is seated in your heart, that every name of the Lord is filled up with the divine potency, that the world of Asia's samskaras and vasanas are burned by the power of the name, and the mind is filled with sattva or purity. The rajas and tamas are completely destroyed and the veil of ignorance is torn down. This kind of mental attitude brings the maximum benefit of Shankirtan. It is not the number of japa or the length of time of Kirtan that counts for spiritual growth, but the intensity of bhav with which the Lord's names are sung. Oh.